Hello and welcome back to Seven Days to Die. So, today's plan is to hit this little intersection. Because we only have two days, I don't want to run any big risks. So we're going to hit there, and then after the Horde Night, we'll hit the bigger one. All those zombies wandering on by. But yeah, I managed to get back home, offload all the stuff. Off screen, I hunted a few extra deer to get extra meat. Ended up returning back to base with around 55 meat, which is a pretty good haul, honestly. Bunch of hide. So I can turn that into leather so I don't have to rely on hunting dogs. Because I'd rather not have to hunt zombie dogs. On my way back, I saw a few stumps over here. And I want to clear them. Because stumps mean good stuff, potentially. And good stuff typically means money. Come on, keep jumping. Yeah, this... Uh, I've been trying to figure out what I'm going to do to after Horde Night. Two helmets... Honey, acceptable. Because... We're in a weird spot, like I said, everything butts up to... The Wasteland. So, Wasteland makes things really awkward, because I don't have the gear. I don't have the money to buy good gear, otherwise I'd say, yeah, screw it, I'm just going to buy a bunch of, you know, 500 point purple gear for armor, roll in and just start busting heads, like, that's no big deal. But I can't. Actually, do I have any skill points? I do. Nothing I really want to put in. Don't really need much of anything. Yeah. Alright, I'll just save them. But so it makes things a little more difficult to work with. I go in the right way. Yeah, essentially if I just stick Dewey, so I'll hit there. Hear that zombie. But so, I, it's this weird spot where I need gear, but I can't afford it. So I'm kind of stuck almost farming out what I can around here in the hopes of either getting gear organically or just getting the money. And the money is more of a challenge. Because I can only... I can't make a ton off what I can produce. I mean, I could sit here and start up a tree farm, but... I would need a lot of trees to even consider running a tree farm. But, otherwise, I was thinking I need to start my farm at some point, and I might do that It'll be a time-lapse kind of deal, because it's going to be a lot of me digging, because I place, as we saw last season, I place my farms in the ground instead of above ground, and I don't like to turn rooftops into farms. Even though, I mean, if I found a Shamway Foods, it would probably be more effective to turn the roof into a farm than to leave the building and try to keep ter farming it out for food. But I'm just trying to figure things out. I'm kind of literally just pulling this out as I'm running here. Because that other intersection is going to take a couple days. 
guarantee the fact that it's... The, the apartment will be a run unto itself. Might be even two. Then we have... The Shotgun Messiah, which I honestly want to leave until I can build up a little bit more of a... for my quality Joe. I want to build that up a bunch so that when I do pull stuff, it, I can pull the best possible. <sighs> but so it's one of those things where I'm kind of in a weird spot. I did not equip my club. Really? Um... Yeah, there are possibilities for what I could do, just trying to figure it all out. The farm is a necessary thing. I need to start making food for myself. While water isn't a concern, the yucca fruit could be turned into drinks, it could be turned into food. It has utility, I can use the aloe. I think I have some aloe, but I can turn that into bandages. Which is equally important. I've got corn, which can be grain alcohol, cornmeal, cornbread, straight up corn. Essentially, almost everything I had last season I have again. I think I don't have blueberries. But, all honesty, blueberries, unless you're making, like, blueberry pie, their value is incredibly low. Okay, that was weird. Game decided to drop my connection for a moment. And I completely lost track of what I was saying. Farm, blueberry... Blueberries are kind of meh. That's about it. I guess the good part then will be that I can start making chrysanthemum and goldenrod tea. And if I can mass produce those, that's easy, high quality drinks. Okay, just gotta go this way. I don't even remember what's here, I think it's a house? It might be a bunker? Bunker would be nice, because that's a variety of stuff. Oh, it's... Okay, so it's very little, actually. Well, that building may actually have some good stuff. Oh, this is the, the meh water tower. Hey, there's water here, though. And a backpack. Good, sellable, not the color I use, but whatever. God. Supposed to just run up on him and smack him. That didn't work. Must be in the house. All right. Oh, no. Actually, both in and outside the house. No worries, I'll, I'll let you out. Trying to gauge range with melee weapons is kind of a challenge in my eyes. I'll take it. 
mostly because I'll just dumpster it if need be. You might have medical stuff. I need to get the spike club recipe as well, now that I think about it. Because the spike club can do bleed. And bleed is immensely useful against dogs, ferals, everything. Granted, I'd like to, you know, not have to get into melee combat with dogs. Drop the rotting flesh, take that. I mean, I'm never opposed to additional water. Well, I'll come back for that at the end. We'll clear out the rest of this place quick. Paper, I believe I can use that for shotgun shells, so not the worst thing. Honestly, this wouldn't be a bad, like, style apartment. I just don't like the fact that there's not even a full wall separating your bathroom from your bedroom. I want full walls separating me from poo. Uh, what can we do without... Flint! Said I was gonna scrap it. Even though I'm scrapping it, admittedly, for just dirty water. It's the simple fact that that's free water. Um, hmm. Need the beaker, because the beaker's worth good money. Blood bag, I'll just eat. Ah, we'll destroy my club again. And a gun. Making things difficult. You know what? We'll drop the existing bone shiv. We will make a replacement bone shiv. Drop the remaining. Need to keep the BDUs. Take the pistol. The cowboy hat's not bad. I mean, it's worth a good amount of money in comparison to this and this. I'll even get rid of the blue bandana. Why not? Is there a bit of rooftop access? Yes. Are you going to be another gun? No, you will be hunting rifle parts. Once again, something I need. Let's just scrap some stuff. Even though it is admittedly a bit wasteful. <sighs> scrap the arrowhead. I can get rid of some stuff. I'll have to come back for that. Don't break my shins, please. Yes, didn't break my shins. Alright, let's bust open this door. Alright. That's done. 
nothing in there, and now I get to bust open a safe. Alright, let's see what's inside. Hang on, can we... Can we assemble this? Can. I don't have anything to assemble. Ah, uh, wait. What I can do... I can't assemble hunting rifles. Never mind, my plan just caved in on itself. I can't drink fast enough. Okay. Coal, go. That pistol receiver is good. Not enough animal fat to be justified. Hunting rifle barrel. Now, pistol parts. I can assemble part of a pistol. What I will do is just continually take parts out and try to assemble this pistol as much as possible to save space. There. That is everything. This doesn't work. Let's get out of here. Yeah, I couldn't even try to do any more if I wanted. My inventory is just packed. As I look in the garbage to see if there's anything to take. But I think that's a good haul. I mean... Two... Almost three pistols, some ammunition. The pistols alone... This season... I am going to go to Hub City for more than just a... End of season death. I'm going to actually try to hold out in there at some point. Eat that. I just need to gear up. I would actually like to build a second base closer to Hub City, and I know that seems kind of funny considering Hub City is there, and I live right here, so why do I need to build closer? But the idea would be either to live inside Hub City, or to live within its spawn boundaries. So as we've seen, when you get too close, it starts. the sky turns green and everything goes bleh. I want to live there. Part to test out how one of these... That's a bear. That's a bear. That's a bear. Oh god. Retreat. Run. I have nothing to defend myself. This crossbow will not do enough. I can't tell if it's behind me anymore and I don't want to turn back. I hear it, I think, or that's a zombie, I can't tell. Once again, do not care, just running. We're gonna take a look. Okay, we're clear. It's like it wanted revenge for the one I killed last episode. Okay, we are taking... A detour, I guess. Scrap it. Yes. Because that direct path is now blocked. And with the speed I get going uphill, I will die. Ah, this is why I need a mini bike, but I can't find an engine. My battery's crap, it's 33, but at least it's something. But now I need an engine. Oh god, I'm... I'm glad I didn't die to that. 
even though that would have allowed me to drop stuff off, it's the simple fact that I don't enjoy dying to bears. And it doesn't help bears are completely silent until you're upon them. And they sometimes attack zombies, but that's kind of hit and miss. We'll check the stump. Scrap, scrap. Even though the steel arrowhead would be nice, it's just not... It's not valuable enough right now. I'm good with using just flat iron arrowheads. Steel is a damage up, but it comes at the cost of like two and a half iron arrows. So I I would have to sit down and do the math to see if it's actually a justifiable upgrade or not. Look, lady, I, I don't care. Even if you're carrying something, I can't carry it. Unless you're carrying like a pistol receiver, I think, and some bullets, then I could take it. Pig. I wish I could upgrade health nut once more. But I need eight more athletics. And then I'm capped out at a bare minimum of 120. Which, once my farm is up and running, that will change quickly. Oh, seven more levels. And I explored the cave I have marked. And unfortunately that cave... The best way to sum it up is that cave is just a tunnel. I think I might have accidentally marked both entrances as separate caves. But all they do is they connect to each other. The good part is I could potentially mine in there and get some stuff. And all the stalagmites and stalactites are nitrate powder, which is useful for making gunpowder. Okay, back to running. Scrap. Nope. Bears are honestly my biggest danger. Like, barrels are scary, even if they're running at the whole time, but you can stagger them. If you can land headshots, you stagger. If you know you have a shotgun or a blunderbuss, you can stagger. Bears just don't care. And bears will two hit you and be fine with it. At least a feral, it'll stun you, but you can still kind of fight it off. You can stagger it in response. You can stun it. There's ways to fight it. Fat cops. Shoot them in the head twice with a crossbow. They die. Granted, you have to, be, you have to rapid fire if you take too long after that initial hit, they will just explode anyways. Hornets are not even a threat. Dogs, one crossbow bolt to the face, they're dead. Zombie bears... I don't think statistically zombie bears are any different than a standard bear. I just think you only get rotten flesh instead of meat, which really sucks. And they spawn in Hub City, 
which is actually my other concern about building a base in Hub City, or at least the Hub City limits, is I don't know... The cobblestone base will not hold against a bear. What I would need to do is to build that up. I'd have to turn it into concrete. There's no getting around that. It needs to be... I, I will need a concrete mixer. I will need concrete. I will most likely upgrade this base to concrete before moving out. What would be really cool, but also insane and take forever, would be to dig a basement to this base, dig a basement to the other base, I can't get... hang on. Give my Aaron back. But dig a basement to the other base, and then connect them via a tunnel. That is a long time coming kind of plan. But, I think this is the perfect time to call it. Next episode will most likely, I might be able to squeeze in farm building or I'll do that right after Horde Night. So it'll be one of the two, either Horde Night or farming. But, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button, it helps out the channel a lot. If you are new, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.